know, you're not wrong. Am I wrong? You're not wrong, Walter. You're just an extremely stable genius. Okay, then. To suggest that that is the only opinion that matters and the static opinion, and it hasn't advanced from there, is incorrect. Now tell me I'm wrong. This is a debate in my house every year, so now I bring it to you. It's serious. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Tell me I'm wrong at 98973. Let me give you a refresher. Within this skyscraper high above the city, 12 terrorists have declared war. They're about to be taught a lesson in the real use of power. They have already killed one hostage. This channel is reserved for emergency calls only. Lady, we sound like a war of pieces. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Give me guy, mother. Got invited to the Christmas party by mistake. Who knew? Yes! Even the music is cheesy. John McClain, Bruce Willis himself, spoke about this at his Comedy Central roast last year. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Now, please, listen very carefully. Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. No. Die Hard is definitely a Christmas movie. Three reasons why. One, sure, it was released in the summer of 88, but whatever. Christmas Eve, it's the only day Hans Gruber's plot would even work. Why? Because the shit city is shut down on Christmas. If it was Groundhog's Day, what would happen? Hans, played by Alan Rickman, who was amazing, wouldn't be able to find parking at Nakomi Plaza. So yeah, Christmas Eve is important. Two, Die Hard has Christmas music playing in the background in a few scenes. And the would-be hostages were there for a Christmas party. If there was no Christmas party, no hostages like his wife named Holly. Okay, now tell me it's not a Christmas movie. And three, Die Hard is a redemption story. That makes it a Christmas movie alone. It is about a flawed man who will do anything to save the woman he loves. And then what? She shows him forgiveness in the spirit of the season. Fine. Die Hard is definitely a Christmas movie. This is what happens when we argue at my house. So I'm bringing it to you. You can tell me I'm wrong right now at 98973. All right, then. We'll see how wrong Candy is. I suspect that many of you will not find her as wrong as I would like to. Kimmy Klein, how are things looking in traffic? Well, we still have this crash in Olympia, South and I-5, just past Pacific Avenue, taking up three left lanes.